to come behind our silk and just billow it out. So just find the rolled edge and take the edge and then just billow out your silk. Fluff it up. And then walk up to it right up under your plumb line. Take both hands, set them right inside your silk and make sure that your feet are hip distance apart. So we're just going to take a few deep breaths here, just setting our intention for our class today. So just close the eyes and take a deep breath in and out through the mouth. Another deep breath in, out through the mouth. And on your next deep breath in, as you exhale, you're just going to bend forward, bringing the hands in front of you, really getting a nice stretch, bending forward. Make sure that the ears are between the elbows. Just breathe. Inhale. And on your exhale, we're going to bend to the right side. Just bring some stretch to the side body. Back to center. Inhale, stretch to the left. On your exhale, come back center. And just take a few little movements here at your pace. So you're just going to come right to left. Just focusing on the breath. Inhale and exhale, opening up the side body. Now come to center and just bend at the elbows. Let the head fall, shaking it out, yes and no. Just relaxing the neck. Really deepening that bend. And now coming into your chair, you're just going to bend at the knees, sitting back. The head comes up, and maybe just take the ten toes off the mat. You're coming deep into a chair. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Take one more inhale and exhale, rolling up one vertebrae at a time and come to standing. Maybe just give your hands a little love. And now I want you to bring your right foot into the silk, stretching out the legs. So just make sure that that foot is under your plumb line. And we're just going to push with our, our palms to the silk and just bending forward. Make sure that you're breathing. Take a deep breath in and on your exhale, maybe come a little bit closer to that thigh really working to get the chest close to the thigh. And then come up. And we're going to do that one more time. So inhale, press chest to thigh, exhale. And if you want to challenge, you can come up on those toes and come a little forward. So you're pushing the silk towards the wall. Coming back. Now I want you to turn your body towards the beach. Foot is 45 degrees, keeping that foot flexed in the silk. And take a big inhale in, arms come up, making sure that the shoulders are away from the ears. And then bend forward, forward fold. You're bending that grounded foot, and then you are also making sure that the back is flat. So if you take a look in the mirror, just make sure that that back is flat. Inhale, come up. Rest the arms and the neck. Again, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Bending that standing leg, making sure that foot is flexed it's in the silk, and your back is flat. Now bring your palms to your thigh, your left thigh, and just sink into that stretch. So all you're doing is deepening that bend in the standing leg, making sure that that foot is flexed in the silk. 
And if you can, just bring the fingertips to the mat. You can always leave that leg bent, or if you want to challenge, you can walk the fingertips to the back wall, straightening that standing leg. Keeping the foot flexed in the silk. Inhale, walk the fingertips to the mirror, turning your body, and just take a little bit of a stretch here. So you're gonna bend the standing leg and you're gonna open that right hip. The further you sink, the more stretch you get in that right hip. So replacing the foot with the knee, you're gonna come into tabletop. So make sure that you've got your wrists and your shoulders align. And I want you to tuck the toes, press back into three-legged dog. Just breathing here, relaxing the head, ears between the arms. You can always find movement and leg. Just remember to breathe. Keeping a claw in with your hands so that you're not putting all the pressure on your wrist. Coming back into plank. And one more press back into down dog. Just breathe. Exhale, trying to get that chest closer to the thigh. Thank you. 
bending of the knee, walking the fingertips to the mirror, turn the body, and we're going to open this hip. So you're going to bend, sinking into that stretch and really opening the left hip.
legs can do full hip circles. So if you need to readjust, you can. Pressing in, we're going to go right, forward, left, and back. So I want you to really concentrate on keeping those hips straight towards the, wall, the back wall, making sure that they are straight on. Make one more rotation, stop on the right side, readjust if you need to. And then I want you to come back, left, forward, to the right. So as you come forward, you're really pressing through and opening up those hips. Thank you. 